Hey guys, it's Matt, turn over here 43 In today's video, I have a video per request of YouTuber Union Pacific Rail Fan for Life. And he wanted the video on this MRC Pure Power Transformer. So in today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. Alright, so I'll go ahead and give you guys just some general info on this and also my opinions. Uh, my opinion on this Transformer is that it is really, really good. Now, I know that there's just a ton of different power choices. And it really comes down to what you'll need for your layout. This transformer probably has more power than I'll ever need. But you know what? What the heck. So I really like this transformer a lot. Now, I don't want to start a war in the comments. I know there's, like I said, a ton of them. You know, ZWL, Z4000, 180 watt power supplies, whatever whatever you have. I personally have this. So, and that's what I like. That's what I have. So, you have 270 watts on each side of the transformer here. You have 270 here and 270 over here. And you have volt and ammeters for each side of the transformer. These two are for this side. These two are for this side. And then you have bell, horn, and direction buttons for each side of the transformer. Now, me personally, I run in command control. So, I use the Legacy, TMCC, and DCS remotes to run my trains. But that's just how I do it. If you run conventional, obviously, you would use the handle here and then the buttons to run your features. Of course, you have the power light right over here. And then you do have an on-off switch. So when you throw it on here, you watch the ammeters go up and the voltmeters. Now, these voltmeters are off by about a volt or so. If you measure it with a multimeter, you'll get about like 18 and a half volts something along those lines but of course when you have a load on the transformer amps that being it would the meter here would go down to what it's supposed to be so along the back and you guys really can't see this very well but it's all labeled here you have your hot and common for this side the middle two are hot and common 14 volt accessory outputs or really 14 volt outputs you can use them for whatever you want and then these two are the side of the transformer. You have three circuit breakers, one here which is for this side, another over here which is for this side, and then you have a third right by that black plug there and that's the wall outlet connector and then that's for the 14 volt accessory connection. So now if you do run command control like I do and you want remote control power of the outputs you can do one of really many things. If you have MTHDCS, you can use the variable outputs, which eventually I will do. I just have it hooked up, fixed for the time being, because I'm going to eventually mount this, but I just haven't done it yet. And you can use the fixed, rather variable, excuse me, outputs for the unit to control power through the MTH. Or if you have TMCC Legacy, you can use the Power Master for power through the Lionel remote and I would personally recommend using one or the other not both because with the power master you have to turn the power master on through this remote before you can do anything with this remote it just it won't work so I would personally pick one or the other and go with it you can use both command systems but as far as doing power one or the other I really wouldn't recommend both but again you can do whatever you choose so obviously I run commands so throw these at 18 volts and be done with it so this is a really good transformer um, there's not really much I can demo on it because I don't really run conventional so I just run commands so but again if you were running conventional you know you could turn your power down use your direction button to run your train you know whistle bell so that's really about all I got to say on this transformer. I I really like this transformer a lot, and I would definitely recommend one if you were in the market for a transformer. I would definitely recommend this. And I really can't tell you though one's better than the other as far as transformers because everybody has their own preferences, and this is just happens to be mine right here. So, but that's really about all I have to say on this one. I I really do like it a lot. So hope that answered your questions there and if you guys have any other questions on this transformer or anything else DCS, Legacy, TMCC, whatever it is just go ahead and let me know 
and I'll go and catch you guys next time. Take care.